Hey y'all, it has been a hot minute since I posted one of these videos, but my Michaels had grab bags again. Um, this time I got seven because my husband was actually with me and encouraged me to get more. Um, I'm going to be unboxing these and I will give you my feedback because my Michaels has changed it up a bit since starting this whole grab bag thing. So I wanted to go through what they've changed and I will unbox at least two, maybe three per video because I don't want these videos to be hours long. So let's grab some boxes and dive in. Okay, so I wanted to say two things. I had to put these sunglasses on. I had no makeup on. You don't want to see all that. But I just wanted to say my Michaels made two changes that I noticed this year for the grab boxes. I did get Christmas boxes in the past, and I will throw up a card if you want to see that. And they packed it in. Like, I had $800 worth of stuff in two boxes, and they did it, like, three weeks after, no, like, two weeks after Christmas. I got those boxes, like, January 3rd. This year, they waited all the way till January 30th to put them out, number one. And number two, they put out three times as many boxes, and they were all very light. So I think they were trying to spread everything out and try to make the most money, which is smart for Michaels, but bad for me. So we'll open these and see if they really are such a good deal as I've scored in the past. So let's go. Okay, I'm gonna number these boxes just so I can keep track of what I've showed you since I have seven. Let's open the first one. I have not opened these yet. I will say, as far as weight goes, this was one of the heavier ones. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I open these. Okay, all of the boxes have this garland in it. I know because I can see it sticking out. Um, this retailed for $10. This is the stuff that my cats would choke on. So um, I'll probably be giving this away or doing something, but it looks like they sent me two. Okay, sorry about that. So it looks like I have a bunch of these cookie molds that they have sent me, or you can do ice cubes or whatever. If you're having a holiday party, they retail for $5. They sent gloves. You've got a camel with gifts on the back, which kind of reminds me of the Wiseman. Um, and some bows. These are cute, actually. The bows are really cute. The bells are cute. Uh, Christmas trees. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 of these, okay. And then it looks like there's just a bunch of ribbon. Um, this is great ribbon. Doesn't look like it sheds. Um, there's not a mess in the box, so it's good. 15 bucks. This is a good score because this is a lot of ribbon. And look how much. You could do crafts, you could make your gifts and wrap them beautifully. Just love this, so they said a lot. This might make it worth it because these are 15 bucks. Um, and I, they all match, so you can really do a project. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then some of them are this candy cane stripe as well. Again, 15 bucks they retail, and they give you quite a bit, so it's good. It's cute. This is kind of cute. This looks like retro, a little old. Upon the house town, reindeer paws out jumps good old Santa Claus, down through the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little one's Christmas joys. Yep, that's um, from a song. This retails for $20. I love stuff like this because you can put this anywhere. You can put this in the guest room. You can put this in the bathroom. You can put this on the countertop in the holidays, and it's just really cute. This is cute. This is a good score. And then it looks like the last thing. Santa, please stop here. This is metal. Retails $35. Uh, yeah, I would not pay $35 for this. I mean, it is solid, but um, nope, they have two of them. So I do have kiddos. <laughs> Maybe I could put these in their rooms, but they're kind of older. They might be like, Mom, no. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I will add up. It seems like even though there wasn't a ton, the items that were in here were um, on the pricier side. So I will add up this box and we'll move on to the next. Okay, box number one had 27 items for a retail value of $325, but nobody pays full price, so a 20% off everything coupon would have had you at $260 out the door. Let's go on to the next one. 
Okay, here is box number two. This one is extremely light, um, very light. So let's see what's in here compared to box one. You see the garland, as I told you. The garland was in all of it. Oh gosh, more mold. Okay, more of this garland. Maybe I'll look, I'm pretty crafty, so maybe I'll look on Pinterest and see if there's a craft or something I can make with this. Again, I, I would never put this on my tree. My cats would eat this and die. So, looks like they gave me three this time. That is fine. More of these silicone molds. These um, are wreaths, more bells. Okay, so see, these are wreaths. Again, just to remind you, these retail for five dollars each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so these are lights, Christmas lights. And I see one down here. Candy, oh, these are cute. Little candies and candy canes. So I lost my track of counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like maybe I counted right. Ten, bu er, ten of those. Some more ribbon. The $15 Big Daddy ribbons. Again, these don't make a mess. So I like it. Um, pretty gold and more of this red glitter. This, um, these are $7 each. Definitely just for a centerpiece, you put a candle in here and this just makes a nice little touch on a table in the bathroom. I have an idea of what I wanna do with these. So um, yeah, these I could definitely use. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And they were retail, did I tell you? $7 each. Another candy mold. And then last, Santa's train, $20. And looks like winter carousel, also $20. These are so cute. When my daughter was little, she did them all the time. I don't think she would do them anymore. So um, we definitely uh, go shopping and donate to the angel tree every year. So maybe I'll just add this in next year to those gifts that we buy. So anyway, okay, this is an okay box. My suspicions were right. I think they spread everything out instead of packing the boxes in. Although maybe they just couldn't fit it all because these boxes are standard size. Anyway, I will add up the value of this box to see what it comes to. And I think I will unbox one more because I think I'm doing pretty good on time. Box number two had 23 items with a retail value of $192. Out the door with the coupon, you'd be paying $153.60. Let's go on to the next. Okay, for this video, here is box number three. This one wasn't taped. I would have tried to peek at the store, but one time I did that and the lady was really mad at me and she came and she started taping the boxes shut after she saw me like digging through them. So um, I'm probably scared to do that now, but more garland. Oh, this is different because this one's 14. Okay, $14 for that one. And then the $10 garland of this. So it looks like one. It's hard to tell how many because they're so long. Here's another one. Here's the third one. Okay, I see another price tag. Fourth one. It's a lot of this garland. Oh gosh, is that. So, and this one weighed like a medium. Oh gosh, here's more garland. Oh wait, no, maybe. Okay. Yeah, there's something a little different here. We have cookie cutters, cute Santa Christmas tree, and a stocking. These retail for $5. And there's one, two, three. Oh, this cute with the penguins. Four, five, six. Looks like they randomly threw some more in. So these six that retail for $5 each. And it looks like they threw in some single ones that they sell for $2 each. Looks like a little snowman or ginger, gingerbread man, maybe. And a snowman and a Christmas tree. I, uh, we do uh, bake Christmas cookies cutouts every single year as a family. And so I don't need all of these, but I will definitely add them to my collection. Candy canes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. What I'm going to do with this, let's see, do they have an expiration date? Do candy canes even expire? I don't know. 
but there's a lot of them, and I don't even know how much these cost. I'll have to look it up and figure it out. Oh, they expire November 18th of 20. So as long as I store these, I guess, in a decent place, um, I could save them for some project, maybe. There's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven candy canes. More cookie cutters. Okay. Looks like more gingerbread. Is this a gingerbread? I don't even know what this kind of looks a little portly if he is. But maybe. Gingerbread. Um, this is cute. Santa stop here. How much does this retail? Ten bucks. Again, these are so there's no way. This is like metal tin. But it's cute. More candy cane. Oh cute. A little reindeer. Um, cookie cutter. More of these molds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six molds. Um, I like these candy ones the best. They are cute. And last, cute. I love these little signs. Like This just adds little Christmas touches around your house, and so I love these. Um, retails for 18 bucks. Okay, y'all, so there you have it. I'm going to add up these first three boxes to see um, if it was a deal compared to years past. So let's do this. This last box, number three, had 37 items, the most out of all of the boxes, but a retail value of $194 out the door would be $155.20 if you had the coupon. Okay, so after all is said and done, this wasn't as good of a deal as last year, but I would do it again because it's still a great deal. You get a lot of things. This time my Michaels waited four weeks to put them out. So four weeks, everything sat on the shelves for 80% off. And that made a huge difference in the type of stuff I got. I got a lot of the same stuff in each box as you saw, which basically shows you what didn't sell at my Michaels. Yours might be different. I would definitely do this again though because I am crafty and I can find uses for everything. And I can give stuff away um, to friends and family and such. So I definitely, definitely would do this again. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye. Like a moth to a flame. <laughs> what did I tell you? My cats would love this, but it's dangerous. So, no, no. He's a great listener, like all cats. Psst, psst. No, no. No, no. As always, I appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.